Lynn Roxy with Roxy Piano Lessons, and this is the beginning of a really cool, exciting journey that we can take together. This is starting at the very beginning, as if you don't know anything about the piano or music. So you'll learn Ode to Joy, that's a song by Beethoven. You'll learn the treble clef, what a half note is, and how many counts it gets. It gets two counts. You'll learn a quarter note. You'll learn the uh, finger numbers in the right and the left hand. Let's see, this is, this is my left hand. One, two, three, four, five. In my right hand, one, two, three, four, five. They're the same, really. The thumbs are one. Two is your pointer. Three is, well, let's see. Let's just do it this way. <laughs> I didn't think that through ahead of time. Three is the middle finger. Four is the ring finger and five is your pinky. So let's get started. We sit in front of the middle of the keys. I'll touch, well, find two black notes in the middle of the keys and sit in front of those. And you want to sit up straight with your feet up towards the pedal or pedals. Your fingers will be curved like you have a ball under them. And um, you'll be playing on the tips of your fingers, not flat. So you'll be playing like this. Uh, remember, the piano is color-coded. That's what makes it so extra special to visualize. So we have the black keys and the white keys. Let's start with the black keys. Find groups of two. And then find other groups of two all over the keys. And then find groups of three doesn't matter what order you play this in, just as long as you get to feel the keys under your, under your hands. Okay, go to the middle of the two black notes. This is called D. Now we'll work on the names of the white notes. D. And say these out loud. D. 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 That will help your brain learn these faster. D. D. Okay. Go to the left of the two black notes. This one is middle C. That's actually where you want to sit in front of when you sit down to the keys. Okay, so that's C, C. Find the rest of the Cs. And the very last note way up here, that's a C. By the way, when, you go, when notes go up in the music, you're going right. You're going to the right. When notes go down in the music, you go to the left of the keys. The video um, doesn't always show left and right. I think it's always opposite. But anyway, when you're sitting in front of the keys, right is up, left is down. Okay, so you know D and you know C. Go to the right of the two black notes. That's E. E. You get the idea. You can do the rest of these on your own. E, just say the letter out loud. Okay. To the left of the three black notes is F. F, F, F. To the right of the three black notes is B. B, 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 etc. Okay. So we know C, D, E, F, and you also know B, but Go to G. Remember C, D, E, F, G. And find other G's. G, G. Okay. Now you go to A. This is not H, by the way. <laughs> the musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay. Find the other A's. A. And guess what way down here? That is an A. Now, you know that A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, so find C. Now turn to the song, Warm Up in Trouble Clef. And that is gonna be thumb on middle C. The, well, the treble clef, by the way, is that squiggly sign in the beginning. That's a treble clef. It's typically played with your right hand. So your left hand can go in your lap. 
and you'll play thumb on C, and you'll play two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G. Okay, stop right there. Those are the notes that you'll use for warm up and treble clef. Okay, so I put the letter names C, D, E, F, G in these letters, but that's only a crutch for a little while. You don't get that for very long. So say these letter names out loud so that you can begin to memorize what they are. And notice that the pattern goes up, and then there's repeated notes. The pattern goes down, and then there's repeated notes. Follow patterns as well as trying to read these notes. Okay, thumb on C, two on D, E, four on F, five on G, repeat. Repeat another G, and then go down, E, D, C, and repeat those notes. Together you and me Make perfect harmony I hear a rhapsody